Assalamu alaikum friends, my name is Mohamed Yunus and I am Udu technical developer. Logs are very important in Udu and as well as in all uh, software applications because uh, using the logs a developer can identify the issues and the uh, problems with the software. If uh, there is no log then you cannot identify the issue with uh, the software easily. So as you can see in this log screen. Uh, we can see some of the different logs, log types like info, warning. So um, there are multiple others like error, critical, uh, uh, debug. So there are multiple of type of logs then you can uh, display on the log screen. So in this video, we are totally going to talk about the logs uh, in Udo and how to add custom logs in Udo for our custom module. So basically in this module it does not make sense uh, to add some custom logs but uh, i am just uh, i'm just going to train you that how you can add it uh, whenever it is needed mostly it is needed in the case when you uh, integrate Odoo with some of the external applications so for example if data is coming from an external application and you can add logs that if there's something wrong with the data or there is something missing in the data then you can uh, add it in the logs and uh, the error is an error message or you can display it as an info message uh, if there is something critical you can add it as a critical message in the log file so it is very important uh, when someone is working on a, an application to integrate Odoo with other softwares so for this purpose first of all we will have to import uh, logging and then uh, we will have to add uh, here a logger uh, variable and then in logging logging dot uh, get logger and here we can add uh, some of and here we can pass a string as a logger name and we can also make it uh, like this name this will automatically get the name of the module and uh, the whole path of the module and uh, i will just show you in this video how it will be displayed in the logs file so i have uh, uh, find a variable to get logs and here for example what uh, i am going to do just i suppose we want to add logs uh, when someone click the value date button so it should display a, a log and after info and it should display a message that uh, this uh, course uh, has been uh, validated by this user or we can say this course uh, state has been moved from uh, draft to in progress so we can add this message like this and on the cancel button we want to add another message that um, when a state is moved uh, to the cancel state we can add like uh, and the lock uh, should be of type uh, uh, like error message it is not actually an error but i would just want to show and differentiate between these two type of logs so let me just go into the py charm and then uh, go to this method and here we want to add a uh, like log uh, dot uh, info so you can see there are multiple type of logs log info error and then uh, critical debug you can see exception so we just want to use here info and here i want to add a message so here i will use a formatting string formatting in order to add uh, the dynamically placeholders so here i want to uh, add a message like uh, course so here i can add the course name so you don't know about this you can uh, just uh, uh, check about it and uh, learn about it uh, the name of this topic is uh, uh, string formatting in uh, python so you can just check out on google and learn about it so here you can see record dot course name and then uh, course this name uh, state mode to uh, here we can add the state like in progress and uh, by and here we can add the name of the user that is currently logged in still dot env dot user dot name so like this way so this is our type uh, info the same way we can add uh, in the cancel button method uh, like here so 
it should be error so that we can differentiate between both of uh, this type course name moved uh, to uh, cancelled uh, by uh, this user so let me restart Odoo and then see how it uh, will look uh, in the logs so let me open the log file here and uh, let me click on the validate button first and then uh, let me check the logs here so here we can see uh, the mm, logs and uh, name looks like this odoo.attends.openacademy.models.openacademy course a new a moved uh, odoo technical course state moved uh, to in progress by uh, mitchell admin so the same way uh, if you click on the cancel button for example uh, like this one and if you check the logs so here we can see this is of type error and this is the log and name and this is uh, the message that we want to display so if we uh, just change the name to something like string open academy for example i want to make it uh, i want to highlight it like this one open academy like this so let me restart odo and then uh, uh, create uh, one record uh, or if there is any record that is uh, new state so let me click on the validate button so here uh, let me check the log so here we can see this is the label of the log and it is of type info this is the message and the same if I click on the cancel button so here uh, so here we can see this is the log message so you can edit the log name of uh, whatever you want and uh, it can be displayed dynamically also and uh, this is the log message so this is as i mentioned uh, at the start that this type of logs is important uh, when you uh, want to uh, integrate your odo application with some other application so thank you guys for watching this video if you uh, enjoyed this video please uh, give a huge thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed our channel yet please uh, go and subscribe our channel so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos thank you